Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This is Din at the Inn. Has anyone ever said to you, what a din? Now here's a story about lots of dins. You might want to cover your ears. Now you might think that there will be some time in any day when there was no noise, or almost no noise. Perhaps just a cricket, or the rustling of other small creatures. A time when everything stops and the world takes a deep breath. <sighs> At the inn of the Din family, this was not the case. It was the busiest inn at, in town. People came in at all hours. Their camels were noisy. Their wives and children were noisy. Sometimes even their luggage was noisy. The noisiest of all were the Din family themselves. Mr. Isaac Din had a voice like a foghorn. Master Isakar Din had a voice like a French horn. Miss Izzy Din had a voice like a flugelhorn. Look that one up. Friends and family loved to stay at the inn. Foreigners flocked to it. They called it the Din at the Inn. Bethlehem's loudest. You may have noticed that Mrs. Din had not yet been mentioned. Her name was Mrs. Ishmael Din, and that is a clue. A clue to what? Did you spot the shh sound in her name? Mrs. Ishmael Din did not have a voice like a foghorn, or a French horn, or a fluke horn. She did not have a voice at all. And the crashes and bangs, crunches and calls, yodels and yells, and things that went bump in the night did not bother her either because she could not hear anything at all not a pin drop mr din felt very sorry for his wife poor ishbel if only she could shout like the rest of us master din felt very sorry for his mother poor mother if only she could listen like the rest of us miss din felt very sorry for her mother Poor mother, if only she could talk like the rest of us. But nobody knew what Mrs. Din felt. Not really. Did she mind? Did she care that for her, there was no Din at the inn? She seemed happy, caring for her customers. She seemed jolly with those on journeys. She smiled, she nodded, she cooked, she cleaned. One day a messenger arrived at the inn. Mr. Din, Mr. Din, he shouted, prepare for extra people. There's been a proclamation. The people came from far and wide, all looking for a rib at the inn, all looking for a meal at the inn, <coughs> shouting, yelling, proclaiming. Miss Din ran about, stables, stables. Master Din ran about, meals, meals. Mr. Din ran about, rooms, rooms, what a din. Miss Din noticed a quiet man at the back of the crowd. He had quietly asked Mr. Din, but Mr. Din hadn't heard. No room, no room. He had quietly asked Master and Miss Din, but they were too busy shouting each other to hear. No room, no room. Miss Din noticed the man. She noticed the small, scruffy donkey. She noticed the tired, dusty wife. No words were needed, just a smile. No words were needed, just a stable. Later that dark night, the noisiest of nights, Miss Din looked in the direction of the stables and saw that no light would need a Jeffrey Star. As the night wore on, there was a bit less did at the inn. The travellers were tired, they slept, they slumbered, they snored, until Mr. Din heard a new noise, and he was waking up the cus his customers. Mr. Din started shouting, Where's it coming from? Stop that noise. Master Din started shouting, Where's it coming from? Stop that noise. Miss Din started shouting, where's it come from? Stop that noise. And they woke up all the customers. But Miss Din went straight to the stable. How did she know? In the stable, the baby was crying. The mummy was crying. The daddy was pacing the floor. There was a group of thin shepherds with sheep. There was three men in funny hats with camels. Even a man with glittery head gear was rustling and flapping. You certainly could not hear a pin drop. Not even an extra specially large pin drop.
Miss Din looked all around. She saw, she looked at the baby. She picked him up and adjusted his pin and he stopped crying, stopped crying and smiled. He smiled at Mr. Din until that smile met his ears, a big gummy baby smile, and everyone else stopped, stopped and looked. It seemed that even the world had stopped. You could have heard a pin drop. And then the baby, did the baby somehow in some way ask Mrs. Din a question? But how could he? Because she smiled and slowly shook her head. She gave the baby back one kiss on the top of his head and smiled again. Then she went back outside into the den. Perhaps he was just happy to be Mrs. Din. You couldn't hear a pin drop, but it fell. Hello everyone, I'm Sally and I'm really excited to be, have this opportunity to share the Christmas story with you and a few words. So a few verses from Luke's Gospel, chapter 2. So Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Well, there are a few things that jump out of both that passage and out of the story of Mrs. Din at the inn. One is quiet obedience and acceptance of God's will. 
Mary obediently accepted God's call to be the mother of Jesus. She and Joseph undertook a long and hazardous journey to Bethlehem to comply with the requirements of the census. Mary knew she was carrying a very important baby, but when he was born, she simply wrapped him in cloths and put him in a manger. That baby's birth was very special though, and I think Mrs Din recognised that, that quiet lady who faithfully went about all her work. Everyone else must have realised something too, and that something special was happening, because they all fell quiet. It seems like Mrs Din carried something of that moment in her heart as she went back into the noise. Christmas this year might not be quite as noisy as it normally is, but I expect there's a fair bit of hustle and bustle going on. So let's make sure we have that just a bit of quiet to remember just how special is that baby whose birth we will be celebrating on Christmas Day. So let me just conclude with a blessing. The joy of the angels, the wonder of the shepherds and the peace of the Christ child fill your hearts this Christmas time and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us all now and always. Happy Christmas everyone. God bless. <laughs>